आई एम एट गुवाहाटी द नॉर्थ वेन्यू फॉर नॉर्थ ईस्ट जोनल कॉन्फ्रेंस ऑन पी एम गतिशक्ति नेशनल मास्टर प्लान फॉर मल्टी मॉडल कनेक्टिविटी आई एम ग्लैड दैट टूडे वी हैव वी गॉट द अपॉर्चुनिटी टू टॉक विथ यूनियन मिनिस्टर फॉर पेट्रोलियम एंड नेचुरल गैस श्री हरदीप सिंह पुरी जी विल ट्राई टू डिस्कस विथ हिम लिटिल बिट अबाउट द पी एम गतिशक्ति मास्टर प्लान एंड हाउ इट विल इम्पैक्ट द लाइफ हाउ इट विल चेंज द इन्फ्रास्ट्रक्चर सिनेरियो इन इंडिया सर very warm welcome to dd news uh since uh, it it was launched in october 2021 by the prime minister narendra modi pm gati shakti we have seen that it is one of the most talked about initiative of government of india especially in terms of infrastructure so how do you see sir what is the road map ahead and how it will be a game changer in terms of infrastructure development in the country sir well let me start by saying that the gati shakti program no matter um, which way you look at it uh is a game changer for a variety of reasons one is that the earlier what was perceived to be the earlier approach of every government department having its own plans for economic development whether it is the um, let's say railways highway construction you know the power ministry petroleum and natural gas they would follow their own plans very often at an advanced stage of execution of those plans you would come across a situation where there is a contradiction i mean you dig dig up a road to lay a pipeline and then um, you know you fill it up again and then somebody else comes in with their plan so the very concept of creating a master plan for gati shakti where all the ministries or six or seven of them which are primarily involved they will pool their thing and you anticipate what is likely to be happen over a period of time that idea is not only caught up but it's now an inflection point this is a game changer so gati shakti means more speed more coordination but much more you are looking at development in a more holistic way now I'll give you another um, uh, offshoot the cost of logistics as a percentage of gdp as the honorable pm said is very high it's about 11% or so now if you can do this in a manner where all these energies are synergized you bring the logistics cost down what happens is that the central message goes to the executing ministries the executing ministries pool their approaches and their resources and then the message spreads throughout the country but a very important point that the honorable prime minister made in his address he made a several important point is that the private sector is and should take advantage of this because after all it's not that reliance is laying one pipeline somebody else is doing something if you find out what the gati shakti master plan is then the private sector participation public private partnership all the other stakeholders including civil society ngos they all become part of that so you get at the very least growth in a galloping geometrical proportion faster growth lowering of logistical cost and a multiplication of the benefits which accrue from the development projects coming in their entirety this gati shakti connectivity this model will help uh, prime minister is also saying that it will immensely benefit the farmers suppose agriculture corridor and all these things 100%. so can you explain a little I, bit how i i i'll give you a small example i used to be minister for civil aviation for two years i think from june of 19 to uh, uh, july of 21 we started um, kisan uh, a wing of uran what did we do we are able to there are there are produce of the northeast give you an example pineapple now these are if you subject it to the normal uh, logistical uh, freight by the time it goes from the northeast to a central point etc now you have uh, air freighters directly transporting uh, uh, pineapple to the uh, consumption points in the middle east this just give you one example second thing you see connectivity must take into account the very veritable geography and topography of a region the northeast has several Uh, uh issues which make it more fascinating now for instance we have brought the benefits of um, uran to several places in the northeast there are flights between the northeast and countries in the region there are 
possibilities of people now uh, state governments providing viability gap funding for transportation there's a central government you know i think one of the most remarkable stories about india's development is that when prime minister modi became prime minister in 2014 and assumed charge we went from a look to an act north uh, east policy and that has brought in an action but i want to take you to another area one that why are we petroleum and natural gas doing the regional gati shakti that's the important point i think in september of last year i had said that we would increase the area under exploration and production in the northeast from 25000 square kilometers to 50000 and i'm very happy to inform you that in this the petroleum sector will play a very um, important role in the next few years the petroleum oil production is expected to go up by 67% from 404.11 4 million metric tons to 6.85 million metric tons in 4 years that's a massive increase i mean an increase of 67% including gas is expected to go up uh, from uh, 5.05 bcm to about 10.87 bcm in about um, the next 4 years i'll give you this example of the state of assam your revenues from uh, energy oil and petroleum related is about 22% so there is clearly a win win if a state cooperates and a state is proactive as your chief minister is very active uh, we are increasing the refining capacity here we are taking all other steps and i am hoping yesterday i reviewed um, one of our oil companies oil india i was very happy to find that their crude production is expected to go up by 47% in the next few years and their gas production by about 89% so this is a clear thing where and we are anchoring this in gati shakti so when we are making the programs for expansion there the others the stakeholders in the economic development of the state can also join in when you talk about an integrated appro approach so several ministries are coming together so will we have a system for monitoring like clearance of various approvals yeah, like environment absolutely. all these things are there you are absolutely right uh, the very fact that you have a master plan means that you are integrated otherwise what happens you had individual countries had individual um, companies individual sectors had their own plans now that's integrated in a uh, gati shakti master plan which will be coordinated on a nationwide this thing so if you are for instance wanting to go into one of the states let's say kerala well certainly you ask the kerala government you also ask your other stakeholders the ministry by this is what we are planning to do what are your plan so you synergize uh coming back to northeast uh, do you have any specific plan from your from your ministry or in general for gati shakti for northeastern states I that just, we can expect? i just told you to increase from 20 area under exploration and production yeah. from 25000 square kilometers to 50000 which is a doubling of the area but more than that you know normally when you talk about this kind of um, uh expansion you are uh, uh, wanting to do it in your traditional ways by traditional ways mean once first clearance will take 6 months next clearance will take 9 months no we are trying to change that we are trying to restructure integrate bring in simultaneity so what should have taken 6 7 years we are hoping to do it in 2 years Thank you, sir. Thank you for giving your precious time to us. And I hope this PM Gati Shakti Master Plan will bring the situation from work in progress to work at pace mode. So we are looking for future. So thank you so much, sir. Again, so thank you. This is Shantanu Romuria for DD News.